Welcome everyone to Hadija Academy for Electrical Courses. Before we start this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more electrical lessons and hit the notification bell. Now let's go and start our lesson. Let's talk about another type of transformers called the industrial control transformers or in another way they are called the uh, motor control transformers. So these type of transformers are used in controlled circuits of motors. For example, they are used to step down the voltage into a low and safe voltage for the operation of electromagnetic devices like motor starters, PLC, contactors, relays, timers, and so on. So they are used in motor control circuits. And as you know that these type of circuits use low voltage like 48 volt, 12 volt, 110 volt, and so on, dependent on our device. So in order to do this, we need to take 480 volt and step it down to a lower voltage or 240 and step it down to a lower voltage. Now the industrial control transformer looks like this, as you see here. Now, if you look carefully here, it's consisting of uh, two elements or two main elements. So you will see that here, this is the input. You will see H1, H3, H2, and H4. So these are H1, H3, uh, H2, and H4. These are the terminals of coils. So you will see that inside this transformer, we have a coil like this. So this coil like this, first coil has two terminals, H1, its second terminal is this one, H2, H2. And then we have the second coil like this, inside it too, called uh, H3 and H4, H3 and H4. And the secondary of the transformer, you can see X2 and X1 here x2 and x1 now you can see this is a coil like this a big coil like this and we will say x2 and x1 so it says that if you have an input voltage or an input voltage of 220 230 240 use this configuration if you have 440 406 480 as an input use this configuration now let's understand what happens exactly so let's call this n1 over 2 n1 over 2 and this one n2 great great now let's look at the first case in the first case it says that hey if you have an input voltage of 220 220 or 240 let's say 240 for simplicity connect Connect H1 with H3. Connect H1 with H3 like this. Like this. And connect H2 with H4. So we will have H2 like this. With H4. Great, great. And connect to the supply at H1. You can see 220. This supply is at H1 and H4. So I'm going to connect to my supply like this like this h1 and h4 let's say 240 volt okay so let's see what happens exactly 240 volt and you will see that these coils are uh, parallel or series parallel to each other so you can see that the voltage across this one and voltage across this one look carefully h1 240 h2 the second second terminal of 240 so the voltage here 240 volt similarly for this one here the h3 connected to the first terminal h4 connected to the second terminal so this one also has 240 these two are parallel to each other so let's see what is the voltage on the secondary so the voltage on secondary will be v2 over v1 will be number of turns of secondary which is n2 
divided by number of turns of primary any of these two this one or this one n1 over n1 over 2 so by applying this rule we will have v2 v2 will be equal to v1 which is 240 volt multiplied by n2 n2 divided by n1 over 2 n1 over 2 so this will be 480 volt multiplied by n2 over n1 remember this part here so let's put it here for v2 equal to 480 volt multiplied by n2 over n1 this is in the case number one if we have an input of 240 volt so let's delete this so in the first case you will see that the output will be v2 will be 480 volt n2 over n1 remember this now what if i have an input of 480 volts so we have a supply 480 volt now the connection will be h3 connected to h2 these two will be connected together like this and the first term of the supply h1 second term of the supply h4 so what you will see right now is that these two coils are in series so the total voltage here 480 volt and the total number of turns since they are in series will be n1 so if we look at v2 which is the secondary will be v1 which is our primary which is 480 volt multiplied by number of turns of secondary n2 divided by the number of turns of primary which is n1 so it will be 480 volt multiplied by n2 divided by n1 exactly the same relation obtained in the first case so if you have a supply of of two of this range you will obtain this voltage here by this connection here and if you have an input of this range you will have an output of this range by using this connection so this connection helps you to get to obtain the same output voltage in both cases okay so here as you can see this is exactly similar to this one with the different configuration to obtain the same volt now 110 115 120 dependent on the supply if it is 240 or 480 in these two configurations you will get you will get 120 if we have 460 230 you will get 115 if you have 440 220 you will get 110 and so on so this connection here helps to get the same voltage for different supplies and here this is another configuration here the same exact idea for obtaining different outputs so for example here we can actually control this output to get different voltages for example if i connect it like this they will be uh, parallel to each other giving us 12 volt and if i connect it like this they will be in series giving us higher voltage now how does this even work you will see that for example if i have x2 and x3 connected like this these two connected together you'll see that if the voltage here 12 volt and the voltage here 12 volt then they are in series giving us a higher voltage this gives you more flexibility in getting different voltages now you can see here from a catalog for uh, industrial control transformers you'll see different configurations all of these give us different uh, values as an example here let's look at this one easier this one if i have a voltage of 0 to 208 connected these two with the supply 280 volt if you have a 230 connected between h2 and h4 if you have a 460 volt supply connected between h1 and h4 this helps us in the end to get the same exact voltage of 115 similarly here the same different configurations and the output if you take between x3 and x2 you have this small number of turns which will give you 24 volt 
If you connect between x1 and x3, you will take the total number of turns, meaning higher voltage, 115, and so on. All of these are different configurations with the same idea. Now, for the NEC standard, we have a special case for selecting. This is a type of transformers, and it has a specific a special case for selection of over current protection device. So this is a 1000 volt or less, or less, right? So we have here primary and secondary, less than 1000 volt and less than 1000 volt. So it follows the uh, table number B for the NEC standard, which we talked about before. So it follows this table as you can see here. This one here for transformer less than 1000 volt and less dependent on the current on the primary and secondary and if we need primary only or primary and secondary protection we will select the percentage we would like. However for this type of transformer it has a specific special case. You will see that here uh, over current protection shall be provided in accordance with this table unless unless the transformer is installed as a motor control circuit transformer in accordance with 430.7 to C from 1 to 5. Now it has several uh, points which we which discuss the industrial control transformers, but number 4 is very important to me, C4, which is concerned with sizing exactly the overcurrent. It says that if the primary less than 2 amperes, primary less than 2 amperes, like here, primary less than 2 amperes, you can see 300%, and 250 percent it say that if it is less than two amperes don't use these values where the control circuit rated primary is less than two amperes and over current device rated or set at not more than 500 percent so instead of 300 percent use 500 percent as you can see here this is an exception inside the nec for industrial control transformers because this smaller transformers has higher inrush currents. So I hope you now understand the industrial control transformers according to NEC and the sizing of their overcount protection device.